Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Mark. I am 21 years old. I'm currently based in London in the UK and I'm working currently as a, as a European Business Development Associate for what you'd call a, a sustainable asset manager. So, so an asset manager that invests in wind farms or, or, or invests only in funds with a certain percentage of women on the board, for example. So, so quite exciting stuff. Myself personally, I was born in Paris. Uh, I grew up there for the first five years of my life before moving down to Melbourne. Neither of my parents were French, so, so it was quite important for me to build up my level uh, throughout primary, secondary and uni through sort of programs or, or courses or, or what have you. Obviously though, I was quite resistant to, to learning French, so I think from, from prep through to year 10, I sort of hated the idea of learning French and, and wasn't a big fan. And as a result, my, my French level obviously dipped. It was only around, I think, VC when I realized that, that languages were super useful from an academic development point of view. I think those helped me get into sort of my dream course. So I, I did a Bachelor of Commerce at the University of Melbourne with uh, bred subjects in French. And the amount of opportunities that afforded me were, were amazing. So I ended up in my second year, which I would have been about 19, I think, picking up an internship in Paris uh, for a French asset manager and servicing French clients. So obviously French was a huge part of the role and it, it really drove my development, both in the language and in professionally as well. And that internship really gave me the opportunity after my degree, I think just before the coronavirus pandemic, to land a full-time job in, in Paris, this time working for a sort of uh, algorithmic asset manager, so using algorithms to build portfolios. Uh, and although I was, I was servicing German clients, the firm itself was French, so obviously that was, that was quite an important part of the role. And as I mentioned previously, I'd recently made the move now to, to London to join a, a sustainable asset manager, this time servicing the whole of Europe, which is a nice upgrade. From an opportunist perspective, I think it's pretty clear from my sort of story how, how useful languages can be, uh, both in your professional development, so it's obviously getting jobs and, and moving up, but then also your personal experiences that you can have. So the 21-year-old having lived in, in London, Paris and Melbourne is, is a pretty cool thing to, to go through, you know, even despite the, the coronavirus pandemic, and none of this would have been possible without my languages. I'd probably still be in Melbourne living with my parents. <laughs> Definitely from a professional perspective, uh, having a language boosts your chances of getting a job, but then also an interesting job outside of Australia and allows you to experience more things. And it's not only just in, in finance, which is obviously a global industry, but in other industries, so law, medicine, or, or the humanities, where, where those could be super useful for you and, and could afford you opportunities you wouldn't have otherwise. Um, my advice to my younger self would be definitely, especially from, from prep to year 10, to have taken my languages, especially French, more seriously. Because ever since I decided to really get serious about it, I've just been playing catch up. Because I, I'd let my level go go to such a poor level that, that I always needed to, to sort of relearn things and, and, and put in more effort where I wouldn't usually have had to put in effort, and still am today. So, so I think if I just put in a bit more effort earlier on and actually learned to love the language and, and learn to enjoy the learning experience, uh, I think I, I'd definitely have saved myself a lot of time and a lot of annoyance and, and be definitely at a level today that, that would be much better. Uh, I love how the French sort of use Verlon, so that they sort of mix their words up, uh, well they, they change the structure of their words to form new words, so, so an example would be like ouf, which is a Verlon for fou, which means sort of like mad or amazing. The, growing up I loved watching Fatal Bazooka, although he's not, a, he's just a character. But he was, he was always a, an icon of C'est Fatal Bazooka! Fatal Bazooka! And otherwise, uh, Gérard Depardieu, who, who can go past him. You can't go past Paris, uh, the most beautiful city in the world. South of France isn't bad either. i say escargots are actually really nice. French pastry, obviously, is amazing. Bouche de Noël is something I discovered recently I love. Moël Asquel, he's a rapper and he raps a lot about the 20th, which is where I come from, so Bienvenue à la Banane in, in particular, so, so give that a listen. Uh, Gilbert, because it's the only word, or one of the few words or names that sounds much, so much better in French than it does in English, Gilbert. Expression, I think I mentioned before, but c'est un truc de ouf. C'est un truc de ouf. But thanks you guys so much guys for listening and then I hope you have fun uh, learning learning French.